Hi guys, I'm Crystal Rose. I'm a comfy soul. Welcome to the channel. So I've been guided to start adding a little more to my Zodiac repertoire and I'm going to do a general reading. It's going to be timeless. So um, I'm just going to throw it out there that this reading is about having your wishes fulfilled, your dreams come true, your ideal life, right? So I was guided to do that. So let's start pulling some cards and get a reading for you. Yeah. All right. Angel Therapy by Doreen Virtue. So I'm going to start there. Um, if you want to purchase any of the decks I mentioned, I'll call them out. There will be Amazon associate links down below in the description if you would like to purchase anything. And uh, if you'd like a private reading, you can find me at ComfySoul.com. There's a link down, down below for that as well. All right. Let's get you a message here. Ah, first things first. Let's just say that when you want something in your life that's going to make you emotionally fulfilled and very happy, the first thing you need to do is throw fear out the damn door. Toss it. Get rid of that bitch. You don't need her. She was bad for you anyway. You understand? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. If God's got your back and you have trust and faith and you believe, fear is only a block. In fact, let's break this down for a second. Fear. False evidence appearing real. It's not true. If it hasn't happened yet, it's not real. If it happened before, that was the past. It's not your future. Your future is yet unwritten. You make that happen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Right? Okay. Solar plexus chakra. You need only live from confidence and just knowing who you are. So this is the solar plexus right here. It's above your label, below your heart. And it's a confident center. It's how rooted and secure you feel. It's your self-esteem. It's how you speak up for yourself. So this is really being you, confidently you, being strong, being a lion, lioness, okay? Law of attraction. This is how you get into the law of attraction. Once you get into this space, your only job then is to daydream for a minute or two, maybe even a few seconds. Put that, that feeling into your heart space. Feel the joy of having this thing done. Feel the ease of stepping into this situation. Feel how successful your business is before you even start it, right? And when you feel that joy and that energy and it's all built up and it's warm and fuzzy, smile, sit back, release it to the universe, let go and get the fear out of the way, okay? All right, let's keep going. Oh, this flew out, kind of floated. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that on the camera. I went beep. So let's grab this. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> if you get nervous, focus on service. If you are waiting to do something work-wise, you want to start a side hustle, you want to move to another line of business, you want to get a new job, um, fear, removal of fear is the first step. And then doing the thing, doing the damn thing, just putting yourself out there and showing up. When you put out an energy of service, you will be given back to multiple. So let me give you a couple of quick examples. Um, when I'm giving a massage to somebody, I start getting readings back from people. If I'm nurturing to someone, they might give me a reading for my coaching support or helping them with their business. Something I didn't ask for, but they feel guided to do that Lo and behold, happens to be for perfect timing and like works great for me, right? Um, when you serve, when you give freely without fear or lack or, you know, hoarding or small mindset, the universe provides back to you in multiples, whether that's the right partner or the money that you need to continue doing your business or, um, The idea that you can't start doing your business or serve because you're afraid you won't be given back to. Everything is automatic. It's automatically reciprocal. It's not like you have to try extra hard. You just show up and be you. Just be authentic. Be you. That's why the solar plexus confidence is so important. That is ultimately who you truly are. When you embody that, everything else is easy peasy. The hard part is none of us or very few of us are really acting in our authenticity and being a real person, you know? 
because we're afraid. We're afraid to be the real person that we are and people won't receive that or they won't like us or they think we're too weird. Well, guess what? This is the year of the weirdo. Shine or be shut down, right? Like you need to show up and be extra. You know, people in the news, the celebrities you follow, the people you're enjoying the most, you like them because they're not fucking normal, right? You like them because there's something different than the normal thing you see. Be that. Do that, right? This is going to make you the most happy. This is, um, I'm hearing a song in my head. Hold on. Let me be quiet and shuffle for a minute. It's a nursery rhyme. It's so weird. And does it even work like that? Let me look this up. It's like one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Let me look it up. What is that even about? One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. The Dictionary of English Folklore lists the rhyme as common all over Britain, USA, Canada, and Australia. Let me continue. I feel like there's more to this story. So let's continue. Tell me about these potatoes. It's a counting out rhyme, so counting. One, two, three, four. Um, in one version on the command spuds up, the children to be counted out extend clenched fists. One child recites the rhyme while using their own fist to tap each of the others in turn. The child whose fist is tapped on the final word more puts that fist behind their back. The whole process is repeated several times until only one fist remains. Then that child becomes it. That rhyme can also be used to accompany a variety of actions, including skipping. So what I'm getting from this is you got to put yourself out there and then someone will tap you. You're my person. I want to hire you. You're it. Then you come up, you go out, you run around, you shine, right? Let me see what else there is about this. Mm. Yeah, that was the story. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Great. That's it. So counting. Let me grab a card for that. Let me go to the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. And let's see what you're counting. Let's see what you're putting yourself out there for, yeah? All right. The other thing before I grab from here is along with if you get nervous, focus on service. So this is about showing up and serving. When you serve, you receive more, right? You're going to support yourself in doing that by taking care of your body and eating right. Exercise. Have organic fruits and veggies. Lift your spiritual frequency so that you can be more, do more, and receive more. If you're totally fine sitting on the couch eating Cheetos, coming back after your boring job every day after work, this reading is not for you. If you are somebody who wants more, this is the right channel. Hit subscribe. Follow me on social media. We're going to do this together, damn it. Right? I just don't, I'm not a couch potato. I don't do this thing. No, trust me. I totally love, you know, hitting a bowl and, and watching Dazed and Confused, right? Who doesn't? But <laughs> there's so much more to life and that could get really boring, right? <laughs> oh, and right as I said that. Oh, did I just, woo, did I call some shit out or what? I pulled two cards, Temptation and New Beginnings. Get off the couch, stop over drinking, stop wasting your life doing nothing or fucking around with wrong people with negative energy that are just out there jerking you around, not committing to you, not being faithful, not being honest. Be a real person and get rid of this devil energy. Get rid of these little things that are distractions to your life and keeping you from being happy and feeling great and amazing. And you will have a brand new beginning. You will be on top of the world. You will have the whole world in your hands. I'm going to do all these child songs, right? Your inner child needs some love. We got the whole wide world in our hands, right? What else? <laughs> what else? Bam. 
Oh, passion ignited. What did I say? This is about being intentional. Grab the bull by the horns and ride that motherfucker into town. Let's go, right? Get passionate about your life. Do something fun and exciting. Start a YouTube channel. Talk smack. It works great for me. <laughs> it's fun. It doesn't even matter if anybody's watching or not. Some That one person is going to come through, through and be like, that was funny, bitch. We liked it. That was good stuff. That's who I'm doing this for, all right? <laughs> Those people that like, that like this, the people like me, the people that are encouraging my weirdness, right? That's who I want to talk to. All right. How else can you be happy? How else can you get away from the devil and into your passion? Speaking your truth, being balanced, the scales of justice. These are scales. This is a life changing black transformation card. So in the psychic tarot, the black cards are major arcana cards. These are major life lessons learned. So if you want a new beginning, you need to let go of those temptations, those, those little distractions, those, oh, I'll start my diet tomorrow and uh, today I'm going to eat a bag of Cheetos. No. If you're serious, start today. Toss the Cheetos or at least, you know, make smaller little bags and eat them over time. Don't overindulge. Be balanced. Okay, so this is balanced scales. If you want to be treated right, treat other people right. If you want to be good in your body, eat correctly. So it's a pretty obvious um, solution to happiness. <laughs> but, um, you know, people take it for granted. They're afraid to do the work. But the work isn't really that difficult if you're just being you, if you're just staying balanced. If, you're, if you know that you're avoiding temptations and you're doing the right thing in your life, Right things will naturally continue to flow and happen. It's when you try to take shortcuts or you try to cheat God and say, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll do this later. Just bring me this now. No, 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 no. This is, this is for all of you people who go out and get shit-faced drunk and then you're hugging the porcelain God and you're, I promise I will never do this again. Just let me live through this and I promise I will give you my firstborn child. No. How about just live, not get shit-faced, and not have to do that in the first place where you have to pray, right? <laughs> to like rescue you from what you did to your damn self or what you let somebody else do to you because you allowed that behavior. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. What else? What else? Yes. This is how you will be seen appropriately for the right reasons. Okay. Okay. I don't mean to offend anyone, and if your job is to be on OnlyFans or what have you, do you, get out there, do your thing, no judgment, right? But if you want to be seen by a partner, if you want to be seen by people at work, if you want your friends and your family and the people around you to recognize and honor you for the fruits of your labor, for who you are, to be rewarded for being you, you must be authentic and you must be balanced, okay? Don't attention seek to try to feel good about yourself. Don't do something for somebody thinking, oh, if I do this for them, then they'll do this for me, tit for tat. I, and, then you, and then it doesn't happen and then you get angry and then you're mad at the whole world because you don't wanna give anymore. That's not why you should give. You give because you want to, because you expect nothing back. And then you trust and know from experience and trial and error and just basically practicing this, practicing this, that you are naturally going to be rewarded through the universe because you've seen it happen because you gave freely and you received multiples of that back without question because you're awesome, right? All right. Anything else we need to know about your true authentic happiness? Ah, that you've been burned before, you've been in heartache before, and that might be the reason that you're trying to cheat the energy, acting a different way, not showing up, not teaching, you're just living in fear, right? Remember, the first card we got was getting rid of fear, vacuuming all that bullshit away. You've been hurt before. Valid. Valid. We've, we've all had our hearts stomped on, our nuts kicked. I mean... <laughs> For those that have nuts. <laughs> um, but like, yes, it hurts sometimes to be alive and go through the things and feel the feelings. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't get back up and learn from it and do things again for the right reason for yourself 
and with the right people. You learn lessons, now you know, okay, don't touch the stove when it's hot. Don't just sleep with the hot dude thinking, oh, I'm going to teach him to love me because my vajayjay is extra awesome. That's not how it works. You want to be seen and recognized for the right thing, then be the person that you want them to see you as. Like, do the work, start the workshop, show them you're a leader, show them you're a nurturing mother, show them you know how to treat yourself. Then you can attract the right person, the partner, the job, the things that you need to be aligned with, right? Okay, anything else we need to know? Victory and success. This is how we do it. Yeah! This is how we do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. Yes. This is how you get success. Be an authentic person. Stop playing the fake it game. It's not going to get you anywhere. All it's going to do is attract a bunch of fake people. I rest my case. I'm Audi 5000. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Tell your friends, share the reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you like a personal read, you can find me at comfysoul.com. Links down below in the description. Peace out. See you later. Bye, guys.